In this section, we will be going over how to use the toolbar and histogram options on the analysis panel. By default, after the data analysis, a histogram showing contrast values versus the number of counts is displayed. In histogram mode, you can normalize your counts by selecting the normalized option displayed on the user interface. This helps when comparing histograms with significantly different counts. X-axis units of the plot can be defined as contrast or mass. Please note that mass can only be used after applying a mass calibration. You can also change the bin width, contrast limits, and the mat counts. It is also possible to switch between histogram mode and kernel density estimation mode. The controls mentioned are the same for both modes available. On the toolbar above the plot, there are four overlays types you can apply to your data. Gaussian fits, vertical lines, intervals, and automated peak fits. When first analyzed, most measurements will display the automated peak fitting by default. Fitting a peak to the data provides information about peak position, peak width, integrated counts, and skewness. Information about the fit is displayed above the curve. The automated peak fitting can produce non-normally distributed peaks as it tries to fit all of the data present. The non-normally distributed peaks are easy to distinguish as they will have a non-zero skewness value. The clear option can be used to remove the automated fitting or any other overlay used. Gaussian fits, vertical lines, and intervals can be accessed when selecting the icons available on the toolbar. When selecting vertical lines and double-clicking on the histogram, a peak will be generated with a contrast value for this position. A label will be displayed above the peak. To create an interval, select the interval tool, press the left mouse button, and while holding it, drag over the region of interest and then release the left mouse button. As you can see, the region of interest is highlighted in purple and the label has appeared with three pieces of information. The center point for the region selected, the interval for the region that was made, and the total number of counts and the number of counts as a percentage of the counts currently visible in the histogram. The Gaussian fitting tool is only available when in histogram mode. After selecting the tool icon, there are two ways of generating a curve. The first is by dragging over the region of interest, just like when using the interval tool. If the data selected can be fit to a Gaussian model, a curve will automatically appear. Next to the Gaussian curve, a label will be displayed containing the peak value, the sigma, the total number of counts, and the skewness. In this case, the number of counts is calculated as the area underneath the Gaussian curve. The second way to fit the Gaussian is a double click near the peak of interest. The software will then make a best guess for the Gaussian fit. This, as well as the automated peak fitting, is more reproducible and will fit the same peak each time and not depend on the interval selected. If a Gaussian fit has not worked, a small box will appear telling you why the fit was not possible. Lastly, it is possible to recover the automated peak fitting by selecting the last icon on the toolbar.